Hey guys, guess what I did? Instead of get, picking up some random junk, I just took a pile of very expensive stuff and decided to review one thing out of that. And this is... Yeah. It's pretty darn expensive. It's the Magellan Explorist GC. Yeah. Technical difficulties, please stand by. I don't have a place to place the camera right now. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. 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 There we go. Magellan Explorers GC. 100% dedicated to geocaching adventures. If you're watching this video, you should know what geocaching is. If you don't, you got to turn back now because I might be using a lot of geocaching terms. So, back of the box. Geocaching is a high-tech version of hide-and-seek. Mm -hmm. It's more of a treasure hunt, actually. Where adventure seekers use GPS technology to hide and find physical objects and solve location-based puzzles, share experiences online. This has seamless connection to geocaching.com user community. True. Not true. Somewhat true. Free 30-day premium membership. That is true. I haven't used it because I already have one. Preloaded with the world's most popular geocaches. Not the most popular, but it does have a thousand preloaded. So I restored this. I've been using this for a couple months now, so I reboxed it and everything. So take this front part off. And you get this box that says Magellan. And inside is a big is the actual device. We'll go back to that. Underneath that is a manual in the wrong language. Another manual in the long, wrong language. And if you want an English manual, you're going to have to go on the website, which is listed. The website, which is right, right there. Yeah, isn't that awesome? The website just ra magically popped up there. <sighs> Wizard magic. It just has stuff about technical difficulties. This is a free... 30-day membership right here there's the code there you get a free membership if you can read that if you're mad you can have x-ray and if and this camera's pretty bad so I didn't even have to cover it up next thing is you can save two bucks on lithium batteries for this thing that's kind of good now that we've gone through all this, we're going to check out the system itself. Loading screen. Whew. It's hot in here. It's very hot out. So we have geocaches, weight marked, dashboard, tools, map. Geocaching. So let's go to a geocache here. This one is called. I loaded this on my GPS. It's called 4A65726F. I don't know. But it's a puzzle cache. It says it's 298 miles because last time I used this, I was on vacation. There's the description. You get it when you load this up. The screen doesn't look terrible like this. It's just my video camera is not up to date. So next, I have it gives the recent log the logs from when you loaded it on. Pretty great. It gives you hints and stuff, the basics. Next is waypoints. You can load this up with waypoints. Dashboard. It's a compass. Point you to the direction. Tools. Settings. Self-explanatory. Trip summary tells you how far you've traveled so far. 35 miles with this on. 
which I'm found. Awards. Now, depending on how far you travel, you'll get little awards. Like, I traveled 25 miles with it. Took 10 minutes for me to find one. Geo it also has glossary of geocaching terms, geocaching types, geocaching frequently asked questions, demo mode, satellite connection, screen capture. Pretty useful. I'll take a screen capture right now. And, yeah. And I'll put it on the screen. UPS signal was lost. And then there's the map. Yeah. Very useful device if you can. If you're a geocacher, of course. Why would you need it if you weren't one? If you were a little muggle. So here's what we got coming up next. I'm going to review 25th Anniversary Edition of Super Mario All-Stars. I think there was a thousand made of this. So inside there's exclusive stuff that you can see during the review, which is coming out in a week. Toxic Waste Candy. It's supposed to be the sourest candy in the world. I've eaten a lot of it already. I can take sour, but I would say sourest candy I've ever, I've ever had. PSP. Yeah, it's a PSP, obviously. So, I'm going to review this. And, no, I'm not going to review the game. You know why? Because it's a racing game. I don't like racing games. And, apples to apples. To go. Great game. See ya.